okay so this was the second question of the uh, weekly contest 239 and the question was splitting a string into descending consecutive values right so uh, uh, let me give you an example and with the help of that example let me explain you this question so you would be given a string for example uh, this string is 0090089 Right, the string uh, would be given to you, and you have to tell whether it is possible to split this string into substrings, such that when those substrings are converted into number, then uh, uh, the the numbers are in uh, descending order. They are in decreasing order, such that the simultaneous value, the adjacent value, uh, differ only by one. So let me take this over here, and let me. uh explain you in a more elaborate way so this is the question that we have perfect now uh i hope you understood the question but i'll again reiterate so you are given a string for example uh, the string is 0090089 so this is a string now you have to tell whether it is possible to split it into uh more than greater than or equal to two substrings such that when each substring is converted into an integer for example this gets converted into 89 this gets converted into 90 then the resultant is a descending order array descending order array where the elements which are adjacent to each other differ only by one for example let's suppose we have 4 3 2 1 this is a string now over here i can split it into uh, four substrings uh, and when each substring is converted into numbers uh, then the adjacent elements differ only by one and they are in descending order so this is four then three then two then one so there has to be descending uh, consecutive values the, the values have to be in descending order and they have to be uh, in the uh, in the, they, they have to be consecutive right so this is the question that we have to solve now coming to the solution part uh, so we would be using a recursion to solve this question and uh, to solve this recursion we have to first see the constraints so we have to see whether constraints are loose enough that i can apply recursion or not because recursion is brute force right so if you go below you can see the length of the string is only 20 and s only contains uh, digits so that means if the at max i only have 20 digits that means uh, even if i apply an exponential solution uh, let's suppose i apply an exponential solution uh, even if i make it uh, 2 raised to power 20 even if i make it 3 raised to power 20 right then also uh, this is a very small number right and uh, this would lie in the 10 to the power 8 operations per second bracket i have one second and in one second i have 10 to the power eight operations so whatever exponential solution that i'll apply it will be less than 10 to the power eight operations right so i can apply the brute force recursive solution right now let's apply and now let's try to solve this question so uh, let me uh, explain this part over here so uh, like this is the tree that i'll try to form so i i'll, I'll, I'll give you the tree and then uh, we will think of uh like that tree has to be implemented the tree has to be implemented using uh code so what i'll do is i'll i'll take the first element right so i'll convert two things one is question string and second is my answer string right to begin with my answer string is blank right then i'll take the first element first i'll take 0 then i'll take 0 0 then i'll take 0 0 i have to take substrings right so i i at, at first level i would be choosing first substring i would be choosing first substring right so let's choose the first substring so one choice would be to take only zero the other choice for the first substring pehli substring ke liye choice is chal rahi hai so for the first substring the next choice would be 0 0 then the next choice would be 0 0 then the next choice would be 0 0 uh, let me uh, take it as center so the next choice would be 0090 the next choice would be 0090 and then again 0 and the next choice would be 009008 and then the last choice would be 0090089 so this is my first substring 
So if I am taken the first substring, then what what would be I left? So I would only focus on the answer uh, recursion track. So I hope you have understood from the level zero till level one. So how I would choose my first substring? Now you can choose the second substring. Now you can choose the third substring, and all those things you can do. So over here, what we have to do is I I would be only focusing on the answer substring. So in an answer substring, my first choice is zero zero nine zero. Then the question substring would be left as zero eight nine. This is my question substring which is left, and this is my first substring. Now I would apply the same uh, analogy over here. So I would first try to uh, I, I, if if zero zero nine zero has been chosen as the first substring. Now I'll try to choose the second substring. So the second substring can be zero, or it can be zero eight, or it can be zero eight nine. Right, so uh, I I would obviously go uh, till this path. So my first substring would be this, and this would be my second substring, right? And one more thing that I have to do is uh, obviously I have to uh, choose the question substring, right? And uh, second thing is I have to uh, take two things: my current value and my previous value. These are two things that I have to choose, and uh, my previous value. so to begin with what i'll do is my uh, current value is also minus 1 and my previous value is also minus 1 over here my current value would be 90 and my previous value would be minus 1 over here my current value would be 89 and my previous value would be 90 and uh, basically i'll i'll make further calls only if the difference between current value and the previous value is equal to 1 then only i'll make further calls right so uh, th there are some negative base cases the first negative base case is if my current value and my previous value the difference between uh, those two is greater than uh, is greater than 1 right if it is not equal to 1 then there is no point making more calls so that is one negative base case second negative base case is i have to also write number of splits or number of substrings or the level that i am currently at right uh, i i i could completely take this complete string as the substring but this is not the answer right i have to take at least two substrings so i would say that my answer can only come at level 2 or at level greater than or equal to 2 right so i have to count the levels as well so if my answer if my complete substring is traversed and i am at level 0 or i am at level 1 then this is not my answer right i will stop only when my complete uh, question substring has been divided into uh, substrings right when it has been completely uh, traversed into substrings then only i'll traverse it right so my uh, th there are a few uh, negative base cases one number of substrings or the level should be uh, greater than 1 it should either be 2 or 3 or 4 a uh, second my current value and my previous value the difference should be uh, basically the difference should be equal to 1 if it is not equal to 1 it's a negative base case and uh, my positive base case let's let's talk about a uh, positive base case we have talked about recursion level we have talked about negative base case now let's talk about positive base case so in positive base case if my complete question substring uh, if my complete question string is traversed and uh, uh, if 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 number of levels Uh, are are greater than or equal to two, uh, then I would say that this is my positive base case, because I have I have reached to a level, right? And uh, basically, first level, second level, third level, I would only go if the difference between current value and the previous value is is one. Then only I'll move forward. If I have reached at the end, that means the difference between all the choosens, all the partitions, is one. the next thing is that my partition number is also my my level number is also greater than equal to 2 and i have completely traversed my whole question string so that means that i have completely traversed it that means this is a positive base case right that means i'll return true right so this is what i wanted to talk about uh, i'll i'll quickly i i wanted to show you uh, the uh, the solution as well but i want to leave this uh, to you as an exercise i hope uh, this is a simple question of recursion and i hope you have understood my explanation uh, in recursion you have to focus on three things one is uh, basically what is from level 0 uh, how do you go to level 1 so this is uh, defined over here i would use question current value previous value and the level uh, second thing is negative base case i have already defined that and third thing is positive base case 
right? Uh, and if one of the cases gives me true, uh, then my uh, my complete answer should be true. If all the answers are false, then my answer should be false, right? So I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.